Trees, do they incarnate? Are they souls? Uh, is it chi? Is it consciousness? What is it? Often a topic on my mind that I've often thought about that we as human beings, we are a living being, that our consciousness incarnates, reincarnates, re gets recycled and has the opportunity to anchor our consciousness, our soul into a new like soul, like a, a spirit body, you know, a physical experience. The same with pets, animals, plant life, everything that is living in this on this planet of, of Gaia, of Earth. I've often wondered about like what happens to plant life, especially trees. Now trees go through a, a process in, in the wheel of the year, if you've heard of like the pagan sort of celebrations, the wheel of the year, which is an ancient tradition, you know, a few thousand years old. Uh, which the pagans celebrated the Druids um, before Christianity came along. Um, they, they celebrated the, you know, the, the life cycle of, of living things. And so when you have a tree that is being cut down, you cut through its, uh, its, its, its width and you have like slices of, of tree. You see that there are rings in the center of a tree. And those rings, those darker parts are where the winters have happened. So this is where archaeologists, I believe, or people that, you know, dissect life and stuff, they can tell like how long, um, you know, winters used to be or an ice age because the tree was just like gone through a much denser place. So during that time of the tree's life, like, is it dead? Is it alive? Does it have a, have a consciousness? Or is it just an empty vessel waiting for spring to for for the soul to return or a new soul to come into the tree's like body? Well, it's not a body. It is a living being. It grows. It it, it helps the the environment. It may not move or communicate the way we do, and so we don't have some people don't have this relationship with like plant life because they just see it as a living thing, and it probably you know most likely does have senses. Often something I've, I've thought about, like the consciousness of trees, because driving on a road where there is like, you're going through like a tree tunnel and the trees just grow around like um, vehicles, you know, like buses and trucks that are really high. And you get almost this, this the shape of, of vehicles passing through. And it's almost like the, the trees know not to keep growing a certain way. They go, okay, I'm not going to grow that way because I'm just going to grow up and, and around like, you know, passing traffic. So of course they're aware. Of course they are aware of their environment, you know, probably by feeling. But again, there's something that has always been in the back of my mind. Or, you know, when I think about life, I think about consciousness and like what happens during the time of a tree's life or the wheel of the year during autumn does the tree not exist any like the, the spirit of the soul the, the consciousness of the tree does it not exist inside that tree is it just vacant has it gone somewhere else has it been going to another part of the world or is this there in, in a dormant state in a state of sleep waiting for spring to come back to life and then it gets me thinking about like I'm really into, I've been into roses recently, like growing a lot of roses and um, experimenting with um, with saplings. So when you have like a branch of a, of a, of a, of a plant and you, you, you cut it and you take that piece and then you can duplicate its plant. And I wonder like, it, does that have a spirit? Does that have a consciousness? Does that have a soul? Or are you just spreading the chi? Because I planted 10 pieces of cuttings from a rose and only like two or three survived and have been growing. So it's kind of like, what has it been the most strongest life force? The chi, the prana, that has been most potent in that time? Or has it been the spirit of a plant that has decided, hey, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have the experience of this rose, rose plant? 
So it makes me wonder, it makes me think about life and not just as humans, as beings, as pets or animals, it's kind of like plant life, like what happens? But feel free to leave any comments below, I'm just, I wanted to share this information with you because these are the things I think of in my mind and perhaps you know the answer. Um, perhaps you have some sort of insight or you've read something, feel free to share because I would love to learn from you, you know, learn from each other because life is about learning, it's about knowledge, it's about taking what we need and what we want and what we desire and utilising that just for, you know, thoughtful entertainment of understanding about life a little bit better. When I'm out in the garden, I don't feel the presences of spirit like looking at me like from trees or plant I feel them feeling they're in their own way they're part of like nature and but like I wonder what happens under all that physicality does this plant life have a consciousness does it have this chi what tells that plant to keep growing to, to shed to to produce plant the hormones inside the plant to produce the fruit and to allow um, all sorts of things, you know, for flowering, for blooming, for producing, for for sheltering, for renewal, you know, for healing itself. If you ever see a tree that's being cut and then it's been, or like a plant where it's being cut and then it starts to heal itself, um, that's always con like not concern me. Just always puzzled me, like what happens to the spirit of plant life, the spirit of trees, do they reincarnate? Do they incarnate? Or is it just prana, is it just chi facilitating in that that body, that tree itself? Or is it just all shared along this harmonious vibration of plant life, of like consciousness? So I would love to hear from what you think about this because I love to learn with people and yeah if you have something to share about this subject I'll be very interested. Um, thank you for listening and hope you've enjoyed my my thoughts <laughs> out on video. Um, thank you for listening and um, I'll speak to you again.